quickly review the agenda. Um, first, let me point out there is a correction to the agenda on page three of the personnel agenda. Um, item K is noted. It's noted that um, K is a point science coordinator. It's noted that the stipend is prorated. The word prorated should be omitted on the agenda. Okay, we'll have previous minutes. Motion uh, approved. No, oh, I'm going to the agenda first. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get this done. <laughs> nice night. Uh, okay, we're going to have two previous minutes. Uh, students and school presentations, parent groups, Open to the public, uh, three minutes per speaker for no longer than 60 minutes. We'll have our superintendent's report, correspondence and board comments. We'll then have our personnel agenda, consent agenda. We will then also have an addendum. The addendum includes um, two motions. One is to create a position, to create one um, FTE music teacher position. And the second is a create position of a point four FTE music teacher position. We will then have an executive session and we will then adjourn the meeting. May I have a motion for previous minutes? Now it's motion to approve the minutes <laughs> of the previous regular meeting. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Second previous minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of the previous Canvas of Votes meeting. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Do we have any students or school presentations tonight? Any parent groups? Okay. Open to the public. Three minutes per speaker. Who would like to speak? Good evening. My name is Tracy Alec Everett. I'm a parent and a taxpayer in the district. My comments will be exceptionally brief tonight. I just want to wholeheartedly congratulate the uh, Beacon Varsity Baseball team on an outstanding season. Not only did they win the league, they made it to the second month finals, <clears throat> in which they lost a heartbreaking game. And um, I just want to thank Coach Atwell and all the coaches for a great season. Thank you. that we're spending on interim and letting people go out of the district because of whatever reasons we're letting them go for. Paying out contracts, paying people $500 a day interim money, and right around budget time, excluding this year, the first thing is thought of to be cut is a sports program and music and everything else like that. I'm not a taxpayer in the district. But the people that are watching tonight and the people in the audience, they are. 
And I ask, where is the accountability and responsibility that goes along with this? I wanted to ask that comment two weeks ago, and I wanted to make sure I said it tonight. So that's out there. I'm also here tonight to thank a certain board member for her conscientious and dedicated service to this board, Mary Beth Stevens. <clears throat> we may have not seen eye to eye over the years. However, I say this. It was not the person I had a problem with. It was the lack of information you were receiving from the prior administration to make an adequate and decent decision. That's what my concern was, and not with the individual of the board, of the board at the time. So, um, I can appreciate um, asking questions over the years. That's why you're elected. Not to sit there, ask questions, challenge. You're our voices. We want to be heard. If it doesn't feel right, ask more questions. Challenge the administration once again. You don't have enough information? Don't vote for it. Do you have the right and proper information? <clears throat> now, my last comment, and I, I don't know how long Mr. Soltich has in the district, but, um, and it's evident that he's popular. And he's evident that he's good at what he does. So, um, on that note, folks, um, appoint him. I know he won't let you down. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak? I would like to once again thank the community for their support uh, of our proposed budget for next year. And thanks to that support, uh, we can continue our programs and even, and even as you see tonight, uh, supplement some of our programs. So that's uh, very exciting for the, the children, and thanks to the great work of the board. I uh, also would like to uh, congratulate uh, Tracy and Melissa and Christine for being elected. Um, I, I remember when uh, I was in the service and I arrived overseas and stepped off the plane and all the boys going home used to sing one song, you'll be sorry. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, I think you'll find that uh, it's going to be a challenge, but uh, it can be very rewarding to uh, board members spend a lot of time without compensation. We appreciate all your, your great work and support. Our next meeting will be Monday, June 17th, right here. We'll have the pleasure of recognizing uh, the teachers that are receiving tenure. I think there's uh, nine teachers and I guess as an administrator, we're going to do that as well. Uh, showing our respect and appreciation and at the same uh, meeting we'll also be um, honoring our retirees that will be leaving the district this year. So we invite everyone to come out to that. I understand from our board clerk that they will be big. <laughs> <laughs> I know that only brings folks out. Would somebody tell Dennis? <laughs> I want to make sure we got some kind as well. Uh, so that's what's uh, going on. One more uh, board meeting. Graduation will be on Saturday, the 22nd, 10 a.m. at the uh, Duchess uh, Park Estate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we uh, look forward to a wonderful day. I know Dr. Sieberding is uh, working with uh, Building Grounds to make sure if it's not, we'll have uh, alternative plans. So that the year is uh, coming to a close.
Thank you. to remind everybody that tomorrow at 10 o'clock is the Calico Ball, and a lot of third graders have worked very hard on their dances for their countries, so if anybody can come out, I'll be there. Um, and I believe they're having very limited handicap parking, and they're doing busing from the stadium. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what time should people be there for that? Well, I, uh, what do you think, Bar, about 9.30, the latest? Um, actually, they're hoping that people will begin to go to the stadium at about 8. Okay. Really? Yeah, I received a few questions about that, and I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. That, that was uh, around the bus director's recommendation. Okay. You, you know, maybe we, we can put that up on the web first yeah. thing in the morning. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. That was it. Thank you. Thanks. Good question. Okay. I have a, a few comments. Um, the first is I attended the first evening of the Parent Academy. <laughs> Um, with uh, Dr. Walkley, and um, I think it was very informative. Um, I think you laid out the common core very nicely for the parents in the audience to understand, um, and I think everyone was excited to about the castle learning. A lot of parents, I think, were going home to see if their kids had sign-ins for that. Um, so I want to thank you again for that and for your presentation this evening. And um, over the weekend, I was reading in the uh, New York State United Teachers, and I saw an article about our Beacon Teachers Association and the scholarships that they provide to um, seniors at the Senior Awards, which I believe is this Thursday. Um, each year, they give $3,000 scholarships. Um, and the twist that was begun by Mrs. Atwell was that the applicant, the student would have to write about their most influential teacher. Um, and there's a comment by um, Mr. Riley, the scholarship committee chair, that um, it's a heartwarming when the student is called up to the stage by their most influential teacher. So it was nice to see something about Beacon in the paper as well. That's good. Kudos to that. Any other comments? Uh May I jump in here? Sure. I, I should I recognize that uh, the appointment of Brian Soltish this evening, if the board actually carries through with our recommendation, <laughs> it is always a pleasure to recommend uh, an excellent uh, candidate for a position, but here we have someone that has dedicated their professional life to the Beacon School District. And we hope that you'll have many more successful years, Brian. Right. So thank you. Okay. Um, I would also like to congratulate Jonathan Cruz and James McQuaid, our valedictorian and salutatorian. Um, they were presented so quickly, and out the door they went. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope that they have the opportunity to maybe see this on the TV and know how proud that we are of them. Okay. May I have a motion for the personnel agenda? Motion to approve the personnel agenda items A through S. Second. Comments or questions? I have a comment. Okay. Um, I just wanted to comment. Um, I was pleased to see um, um, Ms. Lynch um, coming in as a uh, replacement. Um, she had been a uh, science teacher in our district um, prior to um, spending a little time um, with her children. And um, I just want to say that I think that the students at Beacon are fortunate to have her um, step in here. I know that she was a big influence for my daughter, who is going to be starting her fourth year in college. So um, it was a pleasure to see her name on the agenda. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I have a motion for the consent agenda. Motion to approve consent agenda items 13.02 to 13.08. Second. Comments or questions? I did have one comment. 13.04 um, is an, a donation. Um, on our agenda, it stated that it's a donation from the Glenham PTO for the purchase of a smart board. Um, I attended the PTO meeting at Glenham um, a week or so ago, and it's not 
truly from the PTO, it's from a family. A family donated the money, and I believe it's the family and the family's employer donated the money for the exact purpose of the smart board for the library. But it, it wasn't a general PTO donation. The money was filtered through the PTO. Okay, any other comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Addendum. Uh, T, create position. Motion to create one FTE music teacher position. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. You create position. Motion to create 1.4 FTE music teacher position. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Motion for executive session. Motion to adjourn to executive session to review the employment history of a particular individual. Second. Comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 